As you know, most of the statistical analysis require complicated uh, calculations. Well, you cannot do it by yourself. You need uh, to know some kind of uh, statistical software. Today, let's discuss uh, some statistical software. Basically, maybe you may use Excel. Until certain portion, you can use Excel. Excel has uh, many statistical functions, like average standard deviation variance. But if you need to do some more advanced analysis, or some more user-friendly one, you need a statistical package. The famous statistical package is SAS, SPSS, R, Startup. But it is for advanced user. They don't have an educational module. They are expensive except R. R is a freeware. But the other things are expensive and it's not a web mobile version. Then motivate me to develop online web version which is freeware, some more user-friendly software. That is what you call eStat. Well, eStat, including me, there are many persons in Korea. They are professors, most of them. They are good in programming and statistics. We try to develop I mean, software. It's our talent donation. It features freeware. We don't want to earn money. Okay? There are many free software in the world. The, as I mentioned, the R is a freeware, it's powerful. If you are an advanced user, I mean, if you want to study advanced area of statistics, you need to learn R or SS. But before you get into there, you need some software that is our target. It is a freeware, web-based software, easy user interface, dynamic graph, and various modules for statistic education until, I'll say, first year, second year student. I mean, somebody who is measuring in statistics used to know R or SS, but if not, maybe I think this software is enough. One of the features is well, whenever you learn statistics, you have to have some training to how to look up the tables, tables for statistical distribution, but everything is uh, now online. Okay? You can easily check that all kind of statistical distribution. Not only that, some of the graphical module Maybe middle school student, high school student, they can use that. Definitely, the main target is a university student. The technology we adopted is HTML5, CSS3, JavaScript, D3, Hanson table. We spent much time about uh, developing statistical distribution. Well, it includes non-parametric distribution. Also, we are backing up by the many statisticians, especially in statistical computing. We are backing up by professors in mathematics education, high school teachers, middle school teachers, etc. Here's a module. For the elementary school to middle school student, uh, they can use uh, this kind of module. It's a bar chart, pie chart, band graph, line graph, frequency table. For the middle school student, it is for graph for continuous data. Remember, we classify data into two categories, qualitative and quantitative. Maybe this graph is for the qualitative data. This graph is for the quantitative data. Maybe it is more specific to continuous data. 
In case of high school student, I mean, we found that they teach this kind of distribution, binomial, normal, and sampling distribution, log large number, and confidence interval. Uh, they have a special module for that. For the university, we have uh, this kind of module. Well, not only we have a module for like a statistical package, it has a spe special module for simulation and for the tables, etc. You will see that while you are learning the, my book, ebook. Here's some more detail about East 10. You may report the basic operations of East 10. I briefly introduce uh, it here. This, uh, this is the main table, main screen of the East 10. If you type this address, what they're going to show this. Okay. Well, you can see on the top of the screen, there are many icons. Well, it is not pulled down icon, pull down menu, it just uh, listed uh, almost all the icon you need. But in case of a high school, university, well, there are some special menu for them. And then the screen can be divided into three places. These are the for data sheet, and this is for graphical result. This is for some kind of a table. We call this is log window. Special feature of this uh, software look like this. It adopt uh, all kind of CSV format or JSON format file. Well, not only the raw data. This is typical idea, typical data input in statistical package. Not only that, we allow summary data like this you can generate a graph like uh, this one. Okay, this is an example of analysis of variance. This is typical data input in a statistical package. Statistical package only generate uh, ANOVA table like this. But not only that, we are showing some graphical result. There are three groups. We are showing data and compare the population mean. These are the confidence interval. And rather than traditional output, we just pull up this F observed value, observed value here. Okay. And you can easily check that on this F distribution, this one has a two degree of freedom and 51 the denominator degree of freedom. We plot them where this value is located. You might know that this is normal distribution. In a traditional textbook, they provide you as a table. But here, we are using modern technology. You can calculate all kind of probability by using this module. Not only parametric distribution, like non-parametric distribution, you can do the same thing. Well, these are the t-test module. Maybe like this ANOVA, you can input data in this manner and analyze it. But I found uh, someone who doesn't major in statistics, well, they feel well, not comfortable. Therefore, I designed in this manner. Here's a testing hypothesis. You choose the hypothesis type and then significance level, and sample type, and enter number. Then they automatically calculate the sample size um, and mean, variance, like that. If you execute this button, they're going to show you T distribution. It is uh, related with uh, the sample size, uh, corresponding T distribution, and where is the uh, test statistic. Well, in this way, I think uh, you can learn easily. There are some simulation modules. This is for binomial experiment. 
This is for central limit theorem. This is for confidence interval. The meaning of 95% confidence interval, what it look like if you do simulation. Yeah, you can experiment then by typing this uh, URL in your the web browser. But be careful, Eastel works 100% with Chrome browser. The other browser is okay. You may use uh, your smartphone. Maybe in case of iPhone, you may use a Safari. Most of them it work. But in case of a data saver, you have to use Chrome. Why don't you report the basic operations of Eastel related to this? Okay.